<laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> You're a hell yeah. <laughs> Is it revolting? It's not like a pig at a trough. You know? <laughs> it's like being in bed with a motorbike. Hi and welcome to The Therapy Crouch with me, Abby Clancy. And me, Peter Crouch. <laughs> Better? It's a nice jumper. Thanks. Do you like it or are you taking a piss out of me? No. Is it new? Reasonably. When did you get it? Uh, a while ago. Where from? I haven't worn it. From the usual place I get my clothes. Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not a Gucci number. This That's one, not yeah. Tom Sweeney. It is. That's not cashmere. Mm. Oh, it is. It's wool. Yeah, wool. Mm. Trendsetter. How are we? Good. Good, thanks. Yeah, really good. Good to be back on our sofa. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's good Jeffrey's joined us today. Jeffrey's, the kids are out. Mm -hmm. The kids have gone on a play date with one of our friends um, from the school, Jane. And the kids just love her. She's literally like Mary Poppins. Mm. But I think it's the bag of treats that she has. Do you think? Yeah. She always has snacks. Surprised and Jeffrey didn't go then. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, she always has snacks and <gasps> goodies for the kids. And, you know, her girls are like grown up. Like her youngest is like 11, so they love having the kids over. Yeah, they help with the little ones. Yeah, because th they just love playing with the babies, so. Mm. It feels nice and calm in here today. Does, you know what, it just does feel calm. This is my problem with you bringing another dog into the, to our lives. There's no it's point in worrying about that piece. <laughs> <laughs> because it, like, Decisions the made, ki huh? Kids are <laughs> the decisions. <laughs> oh, it needs to become a point where, you know, I have to stand up and go, oh, no. But that's not in your nature. No, but uh, well, that's got me in this fucking mess, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you re what are you referring to there? The amount of things in our world. But, but was it not you who said on an earlier pod that all the kids were because of you? Yeah, but you know, it was your choice. To it wasn't. Them. I didn't say, <sighs> "Come on, let's have a baby." Ever no, apart all you from need the to first do one, say, "Come on," <laughs> and I was there. <laughs> well, more fool you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Someone told now. told you, but you put your hand in the fire. Would you do it? No, strap it up before you whack it up is one of the greatest sayings, <laughs> known to, and, and and the greatest advice. Heed that advice, guys. Would you be saying that to our, our sons? Yes. Very. In the in those words. Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Vile. But I, I want to crack straight on into this part of that's all right, the weekly wines. Do you know why? Because do you remember we did that girl messaged in about a Tinder profile? Oh yeah. And she wanted to be a little bit kind of more carefree and we came up with a few for her. Well, there's been so many, we've been inundated with listeners <laughs> coming up with other ones. Um, audience one-liners for the girl's Tinder profile is dirty, flirty, and we'll th fuck anything over 30. <laughs> Peter Crouch. I didn't say it. It was written down. Dirty and flirty and we'll... Anything over 30. I don't oh. think that, I don't know if that's going to attract the right kind of guy. Mm. Or girl. Yeah. I, 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 it I, says anything, it's quite vague. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think it's a joke, if I'm honest. Um, <laughs> I don't think you should actually attach any of these to your <laughs> profile. Uh, next one is, I may not be the best cook, but I will always have something to eat for you. Something to eat for you. It's what, like full fridge? Eat. I don't go to church a lot. But I do spend time on my knees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are there any dentists out there? Because I'm due a filling. <laughs> That's the best one, isn't it? <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. I must be a beaver because I'm dying for some wood. <laughs> Who are these people? There you go, girl. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> All right then, audience wines here. Okay. Straight in. Hi guys, I have a wine relating to my husband's bedroom antics. Ooh. Not those type of antics. Please <gasps> get your mind out of the gutter, Abigail. I am more bothered about his incessant snoring, farting, night terrors, murmuring to himself and turning over all night. Oh my God, talk about night murmurs. So our friend Jordan <laughs> talks in his sleep. <laughs> or shouts and screams and says terrible things in his sleep what was the latest one so his girlfriend has started to record and they've got this app where they can record um your night tremors mm. 
Because it's a big thing, isn't it? What do you, mm, what do you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he proper does nice setters, doesn't he? Yeah. So the latest one, which got shared on our on our friendship group, is... Ah, no! That's a big set of balls. <laughs> So bear in mind, oh Jordan's a heterosexual God. male. Wow. <laughs> or at least we think he is. Yeah. Um, oh, God. Dreaming about football? Yeah. Football? Oh, yeah, must have been. That's a massive set of balls. Wow. I know. That's scary, though, that night tremor thing. It's really, really scary. Didn't, Didn't your dad do it once? Yeah, yeah. That wasn't good, though. What did he say? No, he, he thought someone was like... No, when he said, oh, one big tit in my lungs. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Bearing in mind, Pete's mum's completely flat-chested, so it was like, do you remember that? I remember, yeah, I did remember him saying something about bosoms. Bosoms. <laughs> bosoms. Did he say bosoms? No, no, he said tits, I think. But, um, I mean, it's not good, is it? You can't help. You can't help what you're dreaming about. It's incriminating. You can't help what you're dreaming about. It says a lot about people what they dream about. I think. Mm. Well, I can never remember my dreams. Ever. No, the thing is, if people are recording them now, you know, yeah. on an app. You don't want to be going to bed like. Worrying. On edge. Yeah, worried about your dreams. Anyway, let's get back to Linda. Um, she's worried about this incessant snoring, farting, nightmares, uh, murmuring to himself, turning over all night. Unfortunately, after 12 years together and two kids, I'm probably far, far too far down the rabbit hole uh, to do anything meaning about, meaningful about it, but I just need to get it off my chest. So thank you. It is hard if you've got some, if you're sleeping with someone who is snoring and tossing and turning. You and said that to me last night, the other night. Uh, I'm going through a tough time. With this at the stiff neck. It's driving me insane. So now he's lying on his back. So That's we'll go to stiff. bed and, and put something on. And within two seconds, he's like. Because I have to sleep on my back because I can't find a comfy position at the moment with this neck. Um, so I've, I have to sleep on my back. And then obviously that. I does just nudge you incur. really hard. Yeah, well, I've noticed that. You just wake me up. That's not nice. But that, you know, when you always say to me, why do you want me to fall asleep before you? Mm. This is why. I don't want to be a snorer. Because I can't sleep listening to you. It's like, it's like being in bed with a motorbike. <laughs> what can she do now about this? Not a lot. She said... Not There's a not lot. a lot you can do. There's absolutely... You, you can get... Like, my dad's friend's got this device for, like, that sleep apnea where mm. it's where you're snoring and you're waking yourself up and you can't sleep and you're spluttering and snoring. He could get one of them. Or he could see a sleep therapist or he could maybe do a bit of like Reiki or, you know, a bit of like meditation or something to get him in a calmer state before he goes to bed. Or separate well, rooms. Yeah, but that's not good. That's not good either, is it? So mm. It's the beginning of the end though. But there are, there are people that can help with that. You know, tone that down. Mm-hmm. So maybe Earplugs. Mm. Big shells. Why, when your other half can see you flipping the living room upside down to look for a remote to put something on for you both to enjoy, can they never be bothered to get off their ass and help? Especially <laughs> when nine times out of ten, you know they're sitting on it. That's true. Yeah. I hate looking for the remote, do you? Yeah. God, it's nothing worse, is there? You know, in this day and age, you probably you shouldn't you shouldn't have a remote, should you? Or should, I don't know. Or should, there should be a better way of. You could have it on your phone. You can get remote on your phone. You can? <coughs> yeah, you can get a remote on your God, phone. Bloody Apple, think of everything, don't they? Mm -hmm. Legends. Huh? <laughs> Apart from printers. They, they don't have printers? No. Well, no, we, uh, we, just, we discussed this before the podcast today. Like, we, I'm constantly on this phone now, looking at the pram because our printer's broke. But I've already yeah, bought a new printer. but it's good for printer. the environment to not be printing paper. Yeah, and that's, and that's why we do it, obviously. <laughs> you know, it's very important. God, so we watched this traumatic thing last night in bed, that dolphin program. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? No. Ugh. What the is Last it? Dolphin King, I think it was called. The Last Dolphin King? Yeah, it was a place we've actually been to, Marine Land in um, Mallorca. Yeah. So he, he came, he was working there, and apparently there was a video surfaced of him. He was the best dolphin trainer in the world. Mm -hmm. He actually won a trophy to say that. And then he uh, was obviously bad 
bad treatment of the dolphins a video came out but then they said that the video had been doctored by activists who were basically showing this dolphin trainer yeah so he moved to america and he thought as soon as he moved to america they released the footage because he was working for the biggest you know marine center in the yeah in the world in atlanta and they released the footage then but it'd been doctored they said yeah. but, but it hadn't that, that's debatable but there was other like you know how they get those dolphins in the first place mm. some parts of it were quite it's, sad yeah it was traumatic and he was but he was beating them up as well well it came it came to light that he, there was lots of separate incidents that he'd, he'd had he was um i didn't want to say it like slapping them across the face and stuff oh it wasn't it, it wasn't, wasn't um it was horrific but you know it, it, and lots of it lots of tragedy involved it was we i put it on i thought oh dolphins yeah which, which is, yeah. <laughs> and then i went oh no and then it then got progressively then you're in and we're like oh, oh. was a bit was one of those wasn't it i was like I, I, actually my 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 life probably would have been kind of better with my head in the sand a bit <laughs> it's like black fish that one is it? Oh, yeah. that's a tough watch isn't oh. it? Have you seen that? i don't i don't really like Watching anything. We don't want to watch animal cruelty before bed, do you? I don't want to watch any cruelty. <laughs> well, that'll give you some night tremors, wouldn't it? <laughs> I actually, um, I actually don't watch any of those kind of crime. True crime pods and all that, making a murder. You don't like them? No. Mind you, that one we watched the other night was it, was it Lucy something went missing. Mm. Where did she go to Japan? That's a bit dark as well, wasn't it? Yeah, well. But it was it was interesting though. I, I, I quite like a bit of true crime, for honest. I don't. The Vatican do. Girl's a good one. Oh yeah, Netflix that's good. Seen that one. That's good. That was on. That's been unsolved, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. Maybe losing the remote is a good thing at times. Yeah. You know, because then you'll talk to each you other, know, read a book. Well, I, you know, I had a. But the thing is with books, I love reading. And my friend Jane bought me a book before we went away. Um, what was it called now? Talking at night mm. or something like that. <laughs> what? Jordan wrote it. <laughs> yeah. Funny, funny talking about it. And it was, it was kind of, you know that um, that documentary, it was called like Normal People. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind of like that. It, like, and I think BBC have bought the rights to it and they're going to make it into mm. a film or yeah. series or whatever. But it was amazing. But, you know, when I read a book, it's like being on holiday with Jeffrey, my dog. He's just st waiting there, looking at me like that. <laughs> like you're gonna walk me now. Yeah. You're gonna feed me now. Like tap at me, talk to me, play with me, play with me, talk to me, give me some attention. And it drives me mad. Like you never let me read a book in peace. I had to read this book in two days because. You can imagine and he's how like, much What's silence What's I have now? to I, I deal with if she's reading a book in two days. <laughs> and you don't read a book in two days and like you know have a conversation on holiday. You go for two days. <laughs> That's what you did. But you know, I, I got into bed and was like, Pete was like talking to me, and I was like, "What, Pete? They're just about to have sex. Leave <laughs> she me alone." Actually, she actually did say that to me. They're just about to have sex, and they. It seemed like you were. You would probably. You, you had a tiny bit left, and they hadn't had sex yet. In the whole book, so no, you were waiting had, for that whole. They had, they did have sex, but it took them like twenty years. Jesus, oh, fucking hell! It's like you and me, that. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna give me a reputation if you carry on. What, fridge, yeah. fridge. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's, it's, it is annoying when someone's got a book and you haven't. You need to get books together. Yeah, but he's gonna look after the kids. Well, that's what I mean. Like, <laughs> that's a valid point. You're yeah, reading the I'm book, joking. and I'm running around looking after kids. No, but I think you enjoyed me reading it because you you could see that I was like relaxing and yeah. kind of yeah, because you don't often kind of relax. No, you're always on the go, aren't you? Yeah. So it's nice to see you uh, sitting down reading a book. I actually think we should read. We should do more reading at night. Yeah, I I I like. I would like to do that. I'm going to buy you a book in the airport. Okay. Great. And then... I've heard Peter Crouch to be How to Be an Ex-Footballer is really good. <laughs> or Therapy Crouch. Happily never after. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Abby and Peter. My weekly wine relates to my girlfriend's texting etiquette. Hear me out. I want to know if either of you have the problem where your other half or even one of your friends pretend, pretend to to send about one million one-line text messages rather than put the whole thing in one message. Especially during 
the working day when you need your phone on loud and all you can hear is ping, ping, fucking ping, does my nutting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I don't, I do all my messages in one message. Yeah. People go, mm -hmm. hi, guess what? <laughs> you won't believe this. Yeah, I'm quite bad for that, that, to be fair. Do you oh. do that? Mm. I don't. I sometimes, if someone says something that I want to react to really quickly, I want to get in before someone else gets in, I'll do a quick one line, bang. Like Usually, what? Like they'll say something stupid and I want to d destroy them. <laughs> I think... <mean, laughs> I want to destroy them in a longer way. Can you give me an example of this? Well, like one of the lads in the group will say something like that I don't agree with. And I'll think, oh, I'm going to have him for this. And I need to get in. But, and I'm gutted when someone's got, got it in before. There's obviously a really good kind of gag there. So they see Peter typing. Yeah. and someone's, So you can't, you, you know, it takes too long to get the whole thing out. So you've yeah. got to do it in quick. Mm. But but you normally I put it all in one message. Yeah. I'm just looking at my last messages. From Your you. voice notes are annoying. It's too many of them. I like <laughs> especially that. when I'm on a group and stuff. You like especially like this podcast or we're organising things and I haven't got the time to listen to. Wait, these is voice that because notes. it's not written down? You need to visually see it. I think so because I think you lose it something in those voice notes. I think if me and you on our own mm. would, could do them, it's like oh, would you mind? Doing this, this, whatever. I'm just looking at my last message from you. A voice note or a message? Just a message. The last text you sent me was a ticket to the Barbie movie. What was it? Well, I've, been with, I've been with you every day, haven't I? So, we've had a lot of people write in about, you know, we've got, we've been together for 17 years. We've got a strong relationship, but was there ever any red flags, green flags, or this new trend on TikTok? Uh, the beige flag which is not quite an ick is it something is it not right so I get green I get, I get red flags that's all I've ever heard but green flags I suppose are like right this is great he's into this yeah, green flags like keeper what a winner da, 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 da. well listen you know what I've got a couple of uh, examples here my partner will all, only ever order what, what the waiter recommends to him in a restaurant no oh, matter where we are uh, and he, he's convinced they know best no, because they're only trying to flog the most expensive thing. I never go with the uh, restaurant recommendations. It's a Do beige you? flag for her. Another one. My boyfriend won't put his phone on silent through the night. As I he's agree with scared, that. it means his morning alarm won't go off, even though I've shown him multiple times this is not the case. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I used to do that. I think that's cute. I though. used to do that. But you know, someone told me that your phone alarm still works if your battery's dead. No way. Well, yeah. that. That's that's a big shout. You wouldn't try that out, would you? No, but yeah. <laughs> apparently it's true. Well, that is amazing. If it's true, some I'm sure someone I'm can. That's true. I'm sure someone can confirm if that's true or not. I think it is. Uh, another one here. <clears throat> My boyfriend uses uh, sayings in the wrong context. <laughs> the other day, I asked him why he wouldn't give his opinion on something. He said, "I don't want to throw a needle in the haystack." <laughs> 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 or it really tops the cherry instead of the cherry on top. Mm. Oh. <laughs> wow. Tops the okay, so that's the definition of a beige flag. Well, tops the cherry is actually really good. Mm, well, no, not really. It's the, cherry the cherry on top is of the, the top. If it tops the cherry, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> it's the stock. Fair. It's, <laughs> that's, it's a the fair stock. that's a fair shout. Uh, I think they're all cute. Mm. Is it unfair to call someone out on a beige flag then? Like, th for instance, those. I mean, they're not they're not groundbreaking, are they? You know, like, it's not enough to break a relationship. But I've got a beige flag. For, on, for me? Yeah. What do I do? To pull your trousers up. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're going to say. I love it. <laughs> you put your, both hands in your pocket and pull them really high. Like up to under your ribs and then drop them down. Yeah. Take your hands out your pockets. Yeah. Yeah, it's not right. I don't, bizarrely, I don't do them with trousers. I only do it with shorts. Yeah, I know. Because Cause I was thinking, is that because I've just seen you in trunks a lot lately? Yeah. And you can't take your eyes off me. <laughs> Dribbling, looking at you. Dribbling. <laughs> you only notice it, you don't notice it in trousers. But Walking, when, when my body's out, you're, you're always looking. <laughs> I actually am. I even cows has like got Pete's body looks amazing. Six pack on it. Listen. Nice gold Some. skin. 
Yeah, but so that's a beige flag. There's some things that people do that are a bit weird. Yeah. Do you know, I think restaurants is a good thing because I think you can get kind of, there's loads of beige flags in restaurants. Like when you try an order for me, that's... Because you just take too long. Yeah, but what, I mean, that's, 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 that's a very beige flag or just a, that's a red flag. kind of... It's <laughs> a red flag. Yeah, restaurants is a good one because there's loads of like, like eating etiquette as well. Do you know what I mean? Loads of kind mm. of etiquette. I'm not that lady like eating. Yeah. Do you think I am? I'd say no. <laughs> You're more like get the food in as quickly as possible kind of vibe. Mm. I wouldn't say it's 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 ladylike. So do you think anything I do is girly? Uh, do you think I'm a girly? Yeah, there's loads of do stuff. Do I have girly that, mannerisms? Oh, loads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're girly. You're very girly, yeah. But I wouldn't say eating is, is, is where you portray <laughs> that the, the most. What does it mean? Is it an ick? No, no, not at all. I, doesn't, I don't even think about it, but um, it's not. It's definitely not ladylike. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know I, don't, I don't know what it is, but it's definitely not ladylike. Well, have you seen me? More cave like. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen <laughs> you eat, yeah. I, to be honest, I hadn't noticed it, but I'll keep my eyes peeled. Well, I'm not like. Is it revolting? It's not like a pig at the trough. <laughs> you know? It is. <laughs> but it's along those lines, like a. Beautiful pig. A beautiful Pretty babe. intelligent girl. Yeah, there you go. I eat quick. That's what I mean. You eat quick, it's efficient. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not, ooh. I d when I say lady, like, I mean, is that how? Dainty. It, is, it, is it dainty and little little bits and very precious about it all? <laughs> I would class, I don't know if that is what lady like is, but that, yeah, it is. That, um, that is not you, which is fine. Well, that's not very nice. Well, would you? I, would, I don't think it's a. Well, I'll change then. That doesn't bother. I don't want <laughs> you to change. change. When I'm like <laughs> eating a big mac like that, yeah. and it's all like dripping down my chin and full on my leg, and I'm like licking it off my leg. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do you, no, do you eat the like cheese you out of a Big Mac wrapper? I actually like that in in you. Do you eat the cheese out of the Big Mac wrapper? Mm, yeah, definitely. You don't. No, I wouldn't do that. I do. No. Pete doesn't even get cheese on a chicken mac sandwich. Can you get cheese on the But also, you have to do, do you it. say chicken? It's, it's a muck chicken sandwich. Chicken, it's not a yeah. chicken muck sandwich. No, it's not. That's a beige flag. <laughs> chicken muck sandwich? <laughs> Saying a chicken, a chicken muck sandwich. <laughs> it's a muck chicken sandwich. It's a muck chicken sandwich, yeah. Ask God, John, what he says. He yeah, eat. but you know, that's what I'm saying. It's chicken a beige flag. Sandwich. The chicken muck sandwich is not, it's not correct. Not factually correct. Well, I feel like we've got beige flags pretty covered from what they are. Red flags are self explanatory, aren't they? Yeah. And red flags could mean red. Yeah, but a lot of people who are blind by love or lust don't necessarily spot a red flag. Mm. You know, we've all got that friend who's like going out with an absolute jerk and we're trying to like. <laughs> absolute jerk. Yeah, jerk. But, you, but you know, when you try you and like that. shake them and tell them, but you don't want to hurt the feelings or whatever. And yeah. there's red flags everywhere, but they just won't accept it. Mm -hmm. Got a few red flags here, uh, fl flagged up, funny enough. Uh, secretive, controlling, uh, mm. catching them lying, narcissistic, anger management issues, kind of red flags. Mm. You have the cheating red flags as well, or mm. the, you know, sneaky red flags or... I think morals play a lot, like a good foundation for a relationship has to be like good morals. Yeah. You know, someone who has different morals to you and is like morally incorrect, it just doesn't work. Because then if you've got bad morals, you're probably like bad mannered, rude, nasty, could cheat, all of that stuff. You know, a lot of it is moral based. Mm. Yeah, well, I, I suppose yeah, I caring is one of the most important things, isn't it? Because if you don't care for about you mean having like no and uh, no conscience. Yeah. You know, if you don't care about things, you end up hurting people that and you'd probably hurt the person closest to you, if you don't, you've, you've got a, I think there's consequences isn't there for things and if you don't have that kind of mentality I think sometimes you not not a good person which in tail means you, you're not a, a good person to be in a relationship with yeah that'd be a red flag mm. and when you see them early nip it in the bud you've got to nip it in the bud mm. nip the relationship in the bud mainly but people can change 
They can change. <laughs> if there's a red flag and you flag it up early enough, they can change, hopefully. Mm. What I'm saying is if that red flag might necessarily be a complete no, you might be able to yeah. to change them a bit. Yeah, but there's different levels of red flags, like a man with a cat. Single man with a cat. Is it, that a red flag? It's a beige. Or is that a flag. beige? Mm, more than a beige. More of an itch. Yeah, it's it, it's an amber, in between, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> amber. Yeah. It's an amber flag that. I mean it's it's not quite it's more than beige. But it's less than red. I think you'd look really cruel if you'd dump someone because they had a cat as well, wouldn't you? You'd look like a weirdo. Why did you split up with him? He's great, generous, loving. Mm. Cat. But that 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 <laughs> guy would then look at her and go, "That was a red flag." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she hates animals. She Cruella, bomb pot, <laughs> she fucking maniac. <laughs> she dumped me because I've got a cat. Yeah, but, uh, a bullet there, lad. <laughs> if a man, what about a man with a kitten? That's well, cute. It's not cute though, is it? I don't think it is. Like, it's kittens are cute, regardless of what you say, but. If you came home to my house and I had a little kitten. Oh, I'd love it. <laughs> it is weird. I think that's Tiger King, yeah. I love the Tiger King. And yeah, that's a good documentary, that to be mm. fair. The quality. Look like our John. Yeah, it's exotic John. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually, for a bit of context, he's actually got a pair of zebra, zebra print <laughs> trousers at the minute. Don't even notice them anymore, and he strolls in. Zebra King. Zebra King. Yeah, but that's like he, that. There's Celine. That's what you're like with your bloody Gucci on. I don't look like that. Way cooler. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I love them. Yeah, I like them. Trendy. I, but the thing is, if I if I put them on, you'd laugh at me. Yeah, because that's not your vibe. Could it's, be though. It's not a Malfi Coast. A Malfi Coast chic. <laughs> <laughs> Or Jack Grealish by night. <laughs> my alter ego, Jack Grealish. <laughs> Slash Keira Knightley. <laughs> well, on the, again, so the green flags are basically caring, funny, same love language we've, we've got written down here. Or no oh, Ross loves this love language, doesn't he? He does, actually. Do. I'm a big the language of love. Yeah, yeah. Do you discuss that with your girlfriend? No. Love we language. Don't, we don't need to. We know we're on the same love language. God. <laughs> Ugh. And what is that for you? It's a beige flag, what he's just said there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking red flag. Well, do you know what? Like, a, a, a beige flag's a new one to me, but I really enjoy it. I, I'm on board with beige flags. It's no, good. because I don't want you analysing me now for beige flags. Well, you, you actually look like a beige flag today. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe well, I am a beige flag. Yeah, well, you're just one <laughs> huge, giant beige flag. <laughs> Walking beige flag. I don't want to be a beige flag. I'd rather be red or green. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. You are, beige. You're a bit beige. Beige is going back to that like normal boring person, mm. isn't it? Mm. I'd rather be whoa no or hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I reckon that is exactly what you are as well. Two people. Yeah, you're like hell no or hell yeah. You're, you're absolutely spot on. Ooh. That's how I, every, every person in my life is a hell yeah. The people who aren't is a hell no. There's no beiges. Mm. It's a good way to live. Maybe I'm getting old. Don't suffer fools. I don't need any beige around me. No, forget beige. You're either out or you're in. You're not nowhere in the middle. Yeah, but you want to be uplifting. Just hell yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you describe me as a hell yeah? Hell yeah. <laughs> I'd describe you as a hell yeah. 100%. Can I get a hell yeah? I'm going to get a hell yeah. <laughs> Just don't do that again. <laughs> what <No>. is that? <laughs> Jeffrey's involved. Hell yeah. All right, let's do some agony, Ab, shall we? <laughs> uh, hi, Abby and Peter. I listened to your love language episode and it's made me reevaluate my life and oh, what God. I want from it and I need help. Please don't reevaluate your life <laughs> on what we say, for God's sake. Um, I was listening along to... Uh -uh. I actually wouldn't agree with that. Yeah, there's parts of it. There's parts of it that's some good advice. Actually, this, I remember the love language one, the five langu uh, love languages. It was quite informative, I thought, that one. Mm. Uh, and how the, how the more uh, 
similar you are, the more compatible you are. I could honestly say me and my husband would score zero. And I'm thinking, is he even my person? I'm oh, starting yeah. to think, is there a knight in shining armor? Someone who will spice up my dull life and give me my first ever bonk beat. We've been together for 14 years and have four children. I've been through more than enough heartbreak with him. I do everything in the house and work a really stressful job full time. And I don't sit down till I go to bed. This that, means... Did I actually... Did I write this? <laughs> this means we don't bother with each other. And I don't think I make him happy either. And I want, I want him to be happy. Are we just together because of the kids? Or can your love languages be different but mean you're still compatible? I want to be looked after and not be looking after him and the kids 24-7. I want my own life. I'm only in my mid-30s and I've done really well with my career and I'm just not fulfilled anymore. P.S. I want my bonk beat to be Santana after seeing the video of Pete gyrating in the garden to it. <laughs> Pete's not single, love. <laughs> Lots on. of love. She's a non for those reasons, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I've been knocking straight on her door. <laughs> Well, as good as it is to see that, you it know, my gyrating rating is exciting her, it's also well, disappointing. It excites me. <laughs> <laughs> so you choose. <laughs> <laughs> it's disappointing that um, she feels that way after four, you know, four kids. Yeah, joking aside, it's, um, it's actually quite a sad message. Yeah. Mm. You know, you don't want to... Especially when, you know, for, for, for us... You know the combat compatibility thing and the, the love language. It does work. You know we are we we do have the same interests. We do have the same morals. We like the same things, but we also like different things. I think the problem here is when you only do the kids stuff together. You know, if you don't have if you don't have time on your own, like we found that obviously it's school holidays at the moment and it is hard. But if if, if that's a constant, we're not like a couple now on, on school holiday on school holidays. We're literally not a couple. Yeah, but that's we're what like, I, um, that's what I'm saying. If he doesn't make time for her, then she is going to feel like this. You know, if it is if she does feel constantly like it's only kids stuff, and you know, then it's not. It is going to be a problem. Because yeah, it is like that for us at the moment, but it's school holidays when it, you know we we do make time, we do make sure we do things together. Not yeah. enough recently, I agree with you, but we do, and we get on when we are together. But with the way she's talking now, that's that's not happening. I think if you're sitting in your house and you're looking at your partner and you're wondering why you're together, and I don't mean after an argument, no, because this is I've, I've, you know when you, when you have an argument, you're like, God, I hate him because that's it or whatever but you know if, if that's a genuine feeling if you're looking at your husband or your wife looking at your life and going you know we've got nothing in common anymore we don't make each other happy if there's no laughter if you you know wondering why you're together I, I don't think that's a good sign and I, I you know in an ideal world everyone with kids would be together but kids do pick up on things in the house if like you're not happy Mm. I think the key part of this message is she's looking at him thinking he's not happy either and she's saying I love him and I want him to be happy that is not that to me doesn't speak like they want to stay together you know if she looks at him and goes I want him to be happy somewhere else like if I said I you, you, I think he'd be like if we split up I want you to have the shittest life yeah <laughs> you'd Rotten never hell. be happy you know <laughs> you'd never want me to meet anyone ever again no. would you right if no. she's, she's saying I want him to be happy maybe with someone else then that speaks volumes I think and I don't I don't, I don't want to split anyone up I hope they work through it but it doesn't sound good is there a point when you have to look out for yourself yeah. in these situations I think you do yeah you know she said she's got four kids been together you know she's only in her mid 30s but it's a big decision but if you're miserable and you know the grass isn't always greener mm. That's true as well, but you know, if you're miserable, it might just be a phase. You know what I mean, but we've been together fourteen years. She's only in her mid thirties as well. Oh. She must have been together since school, wasn't it? Yeah, but what it, it does happen, like when you're with someone for so many years, like you know, we've talked about it on the pod. All those little special things, the little surprises, and I'm not talking a ten carat diamond ring. I'm talking about a little card or a little note, "I love you," or yeah, all, all the. Oh, I've seen this, you know, 
driving past where I've seen a slice of Victoria. You haven't brought me like, you know, you used to bring me like Victoria sponge cake home and stuff like that because you knew I'd love it. Do you remember? Yeah, but I've bought you sponge cakes recently. When? It was gone about six months ago, but <laughs> I, I remember looking and I thought, oh, mum loves them. So, Sophia, yeah, I brought it home, you didn't eat it. It's all those, li it's all those little things. <sighs> That when you're together and you've got kids and you, you know, she's got a career, you forget to do, and then you be you feel unloved and unappreciated and not very special. And you do like you know, for every woman and man, no matter how old you are, you don't have to be a teenager to be wooed and feel excited. You can be, you you still want that, like the can whole I time. Can I say something though as well that's not politically correct, probably, but you, the woman can also. You have, have just said man or woman. On like the other way, it's all, you know, we always say, oh yeah, you know, I have to make the girl feel special, but sometimes it's the same. No, the I other agree. Way. No, I agree. I said, I did say man or woman. Mm. I, 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 it works both ways. Mm. Works both ways. I'm only just saying it from my point of view mm. as a woman. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I agree with you totally. And like, oh, you look nice. Let's go for a drink. Let's get the kids minded. Let's, you know, let's go to the cinema. Like all little stupid things that aren't, big deals but I know. you know just having yeah, that little time to connect yeah it's important it's very important I but agree. i i think you know for her i wouldn't make a rash decision i'd probably talk about it but it's what it's what we always say on this podcast isn't it? it's like you gotta talk it out like you can't you can't suffer in silence like that you gotta you gotta just you gotta talk to each other mm. and i do drop want... subliminal messages through on this podcast towards <laughs> peter mm -mm. well I've got, I've got one there i think <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Was a very subliminal. <laughs> it was a fucking bollocking by the sound of it. <laughs> no, because just because you're nice and we don't argue and we get on, you still have to. Um... I know that, but so do you. So what, I, is what my subliminal message back was: you, you could, you could buck up your ideas a bit as well. <laughs> I do. Well, you, that's what you think. I think there's lots of things you could do. What would you like me to do? Well, there's lots. There's lots. There's lots of things. My like what? I think there's lots of things you could do. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. So I'll, Next I'll, message. I'll speak to you after <laughs> this. <laughs> but you won't be able to talk. You won't be able to respond. <laughs> Guys, please help. My brother and his fiance are talking about getting married three weeks after me. We get married in Sorrento, Italy on the 29th of May next year. And they've just got engaged and are talking about getting married on the 27th of June or 4th of July next year. And I've said it's too soon, but should I, should I even be able to share my opinion? Please keep me in on though, as I've been so sp so specific, they'll know it's me if they listen anyway. P.S. My fiancé thinks she'll come to ours if I ask. Please tell them to shut up. Um, I quite fancy a wedding in Sorrento. Oh, yeah, to be fair. I was going to say you've got absolutely no chance. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say, absolutely no way. Don't know you. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Sorrento. Um, yeah, we'll come and say hi. I've never been to Sorrento. I'd yeah, like to I go. I promised I'd take you, didn't I? Yeah. Well, we went to Capri, which is close by. With, the, with with Sophia, with the baby. Yeah, but she was only a little one then. Mm. It was a nice trip, wasn't it? Mm. Um, so, so her brother is getting married. Her brother's just got engaged, and he wants to. Do and he it. wants to get married next year, three weeks after her wedding. But she thinks it's number one too soon to be engaged. Mm -hmm. No, so she doesn't. Say no, that. too soon. Too, she doesn't want it close to her wedding, so yeah. she's going to gazump her wedding basically if it's better. Yeah. Um, I get that. I get that. But I mean, you know, just get it all wrapped up, especially if you're mum and dad, whatever. Just be like, just get it done, bang. What do you mean, your mum and dad? Well, so that's her brother. Yeah, so her, her and her brother. So if there's only two siblings, if you're the mum and dad of those people, you're like, bang, party time. No, These I don't agree gone. with that. Why not? Because I'd want people talking about my wedding for a whole year <laughs> afterwards. Oh, you see, you're taking the girls. Can't... Well, and also, you know, if, if all their wedding, uh, presumably there's going to be some crossover on the wedding guests. So that's true. You know, will they be able to afford to go to Sorrento and then three weeks later another? Because not only the cost of going there, it's also childcare. Mm -hmm. well, blah they, blah. They might have to pick their favourite sibling there. You know, if people can't afford two weddings in one summer. They'll be like, "Well, who do we prefer? We'll go to that one," and that could cause problems. <laughs> yep. And also, she might still be on a honeymoon three weeks later. Might be. She's not going on a honeymoon. Three week honeymoon. 
God, we pay you too Get much. <laughs> Don Juan de Marco over there, look. Cross Juan. Cross. <laughs> Cross Juan. <laughs> he's always talking about the language of love and all that as well, he? Loves it. Three weeks with physical touch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing? How are you helping Just her? Just me, you and the stars. <laughs> How are you helping her? I'd just say to her brother, absolutely not. Absolutely no. You know, she's probably waited years for this wedding. Mm. Well, hopefully his wife will under kind of understand that. No, because his wife's probably going, I'm not waiting for another year to get married. It's now or never. <sighs> you know what probably. girls are like? <laughs> fucking pain in the ass. I do, yeah. <laughs> right pain in the ass. Mm. Sorin's be nice, though. Mm. Yeah, all right, well, good luck to him. All right, well, red... Beige green flags. I think it's it's all What's green. Your it's all what green are you for me. At? I'm just looking at your beige flag. <laughs> but I, I think it's all green for me. It really is. It's all green. Yeah, like if I met you, now, it would only be green flags. Likewise. Honestly, there's nothing. There's nothing red flagging, me, and that's why that's why I married you. <laughs> like it was all your decision. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'd ho I hoped. Yeah, but how lucky is that? It. How lucky is that that we both feel that way? Mm. Yeah, no, it is lucky. It's a nice, nice um, position to be in. Yeah, no, it is, you know. And hopefully, you know, the listeners will. Is my love of animals a beige flag? No, because I, I, I'm not an animal hater. It's just your love of anim bringing animals into our home that is a red flag. Really, <laughs> that would be that would be a red flag. Yeah, guys, I'd love to hear your beige flags, your red flags, and your green flags. Let's bring some positivity. Mm. I don't want to just be slagging people off the whole time on this podcast. Mm -hmm. You know, I know the agony abs, you know. The problems. They're problems. So that's great. And we, we're here to help and try and solve or give a little bit of a word, word of wisdom. But I, I'd like some positive stories. If anyone's ever, you know, t taken our advice and it's worked, maybe. Mm -hmm. They're not as funny though, are they, green flags? Some, a beige flag. Hell yeah, <laughs> you're a hell yeah. <laughs> beige flags are a class, aren't they? Yeah. Beige are great. Some of those restaurant ones are that great. <laughs> Love them. Okay, right. well thanks guys. Um, please, re uh, please leave a review because we love to listen to them. And thanks for tuning in. Yeah, just one last thing. It's the British Podcast Awards. Uh, we're up for a listener's choice. Yeah, um, which is the best one. Yeah, and we'd, and we'd like to win. So please vote. And we will see you next week. See you next week.